I want to bring in now, uh, if I can, Tyler Gaston, uh, Las Vegas defense attorney who represented Jonathan Martinez Garcia. Tyler, thank you so much for, for being here. The state wanted a minimum of 22 years, and you wanted probation. So um, win, lose, or draw on this? Well, I mean, I feel like it's a loss, certainly. But uh, I guess I'll just kind of talk about the disparity there between what I asked for and uh, what happened and what the state was asking for. Uh, but I've heard on the show a couple times, obviously, referring to him as a violent teenager. And I think while he did this violent act, I think that misses the mark. I think it misses uh, the situation a little bit. Obviously, what this teacher went through is tragic and sad and um, certainly regrettable, of course. But just to clarify, Jonathan, to add a little bit of history here, Jonathan's not a sexual deviant. He's not uh, causing problems. He's not committing other crimes. He doesn't get in trouble at school. He doesn't get in trouble at all. A lot of times you see with these would-be so-called violent teenagers, these budding monsters, so to speak, you see them have other kind of crimes they commit, other kinds of examples of sexual deviancy and whatnot. You don't have anything like that with Jonathan. In fact, he was a kid just like any other kid. He, You see him in his J junior ROTC uniform because the day of the incident, he was on his way to an award ceremony to, for junior ROTC. He was mostly an AB student. He was into robotics. He had won an so award for what uh, science. Well, I mean, right. the, you're so, describing someone who was not the monster that absolutely was in that classroom. You said tragic, sad, regrettable. Exactly. I'll add horrific. So what happened? Sure. Sure. He, so he had asthma his whole life. He uh, gets prescribed an asthma medication called Monolucast uh, in November of 2021. Monolucast now comes with an FDA box warning label that can cause neuropsychiatric adverse events in juveniles. Otherwise, probably known as psychosis in juveniles, hallucinations that can't be controlled, aggressive tendencies. These are all side effects of the medication, side effects Jonathan's not aware of, his parents certainly aren't aware of, the doctor didn't tell them about. These are side effects that I believe the, the manufacturer of these drugs are being sued in a class action for. And you see his behavior change immediately after starting on, on singular, this monolucast. He immediately can't sleep. He's doing anything to stop from falling asleep. He's cleaning late hours of the night. He doesn't want to go to school. He doesn't want to hang out with his family. He's gaining weight. He's having night terrors constantly, horrific Tyler, dreams at night. If, if, if I give you the benefit of the doubt on this, that you know that the, the singular made him do it, what about these smirks in the courtroom? He's smiling and smirking in the courtroom. Clearly, he's not on singular in the courtroom. Sure, let me respond in two ways. First, you don't have to give me the benefit of the doubt because on an exam, on, on in preparation for sentencing, you have to do something called a psychosexual evaluation where the state's evaluator evaluates him and calculates a risk to reoffend. Uh, and that you, in order to be eligible for probation, you can't come back as a high risk to reoffend. The state's own evaluator, independent of me, paid for by the prosecutions, the whole state of Nevada, calls me and puts it in his report too that he's concerned that this behavior seems to be indicative of the side effects of monolucast that you're noticing and other things. Because as soon as he's taken off the monolucast and CCDC in the jail, immediately you have no problems. He's shy, he's soft-spoken, has no behavior issues at all. When he's on the monolucast, you have problems. Before he was on it, nothing. And now that he's off it, nothing. And that's from the state's own evaluator. Now, to answer your question, first of all, I think it's misleading. He's not smirking in court at all. Don't forget, he is a child, he's in court, Court is long. It's hours and hours and hours long. And you, this is him addressing the court, indicating his name and uh, being polite and shy and okay. scared. He's not, there's, you also don't understand what the courtroom's like, too, by the way, on a case like this. The courtroom is packed. There's tons of people. There's other cases. There's other lawyers. There's marshals. There's cameras everywhere. The kid is not smirking. He is just a child who's scared in court. Okay. Well, I appreciate you giving us the information, Tyler Gaston. It's a sad case, and as a defense attorney, it's a tough one. And you know, you're doing, you're doing God's work by being a defense attorney. I always say, thank you for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.